My father was an architect, my mom was in the arts, she was a music major, my grandmother was an artist, so I had that in me to notice light and to be attracted to things and to form things up in a viewfinder, you know. It was really easy to apply all that to the ocean. So my first camera was a, a Pentax H1A, had a cloth shutter. When I first got my camera, I, I started seeing light in puddles or, you know, lining up shadows on fence lines and things like that. So I kind of had that in me, but I was doing that without thinking about it. I hate to say it's magical, but it kind of was because you would you'd take a photo, it would be a still on Kodachrome, and it was hard to expose. You had to learn all about the exposure. And, you know, I, I paddle out on a, on a raft at Wind and Sea with my Scott Price water housing and you know you're, you're manually focusing it and all this stuff is happening you're shooting photos but you're you're kind of going well I hope something came out and then you'd wait a week to get transparency out and you're taking them out of the box one by one and, and, you're, and you're going like this you know and you get to the one magic one like let's say Tom Ortner and you go oh my god you know like you it, like to get one good one would just freak you out and like uh, it's hard to describe it's like a it's like you just won a prize or something like that you know as a surf photographer you, you think of a lot of things that are all at once especially when it's on you know it can be offshore front lit you know Larry light and so you're thinking of all those things like it's perfect Larry light perfect front lit and so therefore get out the telephoto get what you got to get because in the back of your mind you're thinking the weather can change the the wind can turn so you might as well get what you can get of the surf man on wave and, and get that under your belt then at the same time you're you usually have your camera back so you have different lenses different bodies you're you're getting people you're getting place, you're getting action. You start shooting guys walking up the beach, or you turn around in the lull, you get them hanging in the, in the parking lot. But sometimes you go, God, I've shot enough of this. And you'll just walk away from your whole setup and go up on the hill with a, and get a, a lineup with foreground um, and the whole thing. And that's hard because when you see a set coming, you're going, oh my God, I'm missing somebody on the way. Like, you know, and you feel like if you're not getting the tight action, you're missing it. There is some art to shooting surf photography, obviously, like the angles you get on, if you're looking into it, you're looking straight on, the type of lens you're using, you know, the athlete and what you capture, his body language, and anticipate a moment. I guess you could call it art, but it's not art like you'd think of art. I go to these places that were really early on in their development, and you know, there had been people there before me, but sometimes they were so isolated that you'd pull up and there's no one around, like say Uluwatu in Bali, you know. Now that I think back on it, one of my favorite things, when I first went to Jeffreys Bay, or I first went to Bali, or I first went to Mauritius, or Porto Escondido, was, was your, in your mind's eye, your first look over the berm, or, in the car park or up on the cliff or from the boat is your first look when it's good that that like just burns into your memory of like you know you can imagine Uluwatu and, and I, I finally arrive and I'm all out of breath and I look over the cliff and it's just going like that you know four waves in a row or Jeffrey's Bay just roping around the point and you just go alert alert get your act together get out there take photos or go surfing or whatever so that's my favorite part is the first look out of all the action and man on wave and all this stuff i've shot over the years this this photo has resonated with people more than anything this is buttons kaluhio kalani and he had just burned a guy and because of his personality, he was so, like, upbeat, you know, he'd start chit-chatting and chattering. And so there was a guy about, you know, 20, 30 feet away on the inside just screaming at you. Because he, he, Buttons had cut him off. So at that millisecond, Buttons is going, hey, bro, my peace, man, click. 
Fast forward to 97, Indonesia, Lance's rights. This is Andy Irons just going off in front of the boatload of Quicksilver executives who had just passed on signing Andy <laughs> to their team and then gotcha got him. But, um, uh, and so he, he was doing this like, you know how you see certain uh, performances that you never forget? Well, that's what that was. That was Andy in Indonesia. Surf photos are kind of more game films. Like, you're, because it's a, it's a sport you, it, and, and you know what's going on, you're going, okay, here comes a set. Whereas the artistic aspect of it is more roaming around and seeing what you see and capturing what you see. My work spans from, you know, this era to the Parco era. I, I think I've had somewhere like in the range of 25 to 28 covers. I've counted them, but I can't quite remember. And, uh, and that's just kind of surfer and, um, you know, basically surfer. Then you could add on a lot of covers of random things like Dance Magazine. I've had a lot of covers in Japan and Australia and all that I've never really added up. But, you know, there's not much money involved, but it's a, sure is a thrill as a photographer to get a cover. We're all unique, we're all fingerprints, and we all have unique DNA, and we're all seeing things completely differently. And there's a whole uh, almost mathematical science to how your brain forms up things in a little frame and everybody forms them up differently. So therefore, that means don't worry about the other guy, your, your work is unique, and it means it doesn't matter what freaking camera you have, it's, it's more in here than in, in this technical uh, machine, you know, it's a tool. <laughs>